After months of rumors and teases, we finally have our first look at Samsung's next flagship phone. I'm Jessica Dalcourt for CNET, and this is the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, it looks very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S3 that came before it. it has the same rounded shoulder design. However, it is different. It is thinner, just a little bit. It's a little bit lighter. And the back is also straighter. Comes in two colors, this frosty white color, and it will also come in a black shade for now. This does have a 5-inch Super AMOLED HD display, 1080p, so it's full HD. It runs Android 2.2 Jelly Bean, that is the most recent version. Has Samsung's Touch Wiz interface on top of that as well. Samsung has added a lot more gestures and features onto this phone. You can move your hand across the screen with some of these features enabled. Some of these things are what you've seen in the Samsung Galaxy Note tablets and smartphones. One of those is AirView specifically, and that's where you can enable this. And because this phone doesn't have a stylus, you'll actually use your finger just to hover over. So you'll be able to preview certain things, you'll be able to preview pictures, preview videos. You'll be able to look at tabs with just your finger hovering instead of committing to opening it all the way. There have been a lot of rumors about eye tracking, and one of the implementations that we see here with the Galaxy S4 is called Smart Pause. So if you're watching a video and you look away from the screen, the phone will detect through the front-facing camera that you've averted your gaze and it will pause your video for you and resume your video when you look back. If you've got your own separate pedometer, Samsung wants you to toss that away and use its S Health app instead. It can track your calories burned and your calories in when you tell it what you've eaten. Like the HTC One, a competitor, Samsung's Galaxy S4 has an IR blaster in the front that will boot up an app. You can control your TV using it, things like volume and even playing on-demand shows. There are a ton of new camera features on here. Some of them have been borrowed from other devices. Uh, there's just a bit of a difference in the interface, so it's much more visual. There are also more modes on here as well. It will support LTE, and wireless charging, we hear, depends on the different market requirements. So I take that as a soft yes. Battery is 2600 milliamp hours and there is 64 gigabytes of internal memory. So overall, there's a lot going on with this phone. We have the updated specs that we were expecting. The look and feel is definitely more evolution than revolution. It looks very, very similar to the Galaxy S3 before, but different enough that you can tell it is a brand new phone. So stick with us, we'll have much more to come. I'm Jessica Dalcourt from CNET. This is the Samsung Galaxy S4.